2008. Croatia, France, attention. Adam Karol, the stroke man of Poland in lane number one. Years of experience here, really having to time the big races. They've got their mind on one thing, 2012. But meanwhile, steps have to be taken. Poland in one, Great Britain in two, Germany in three, Ukraine in four, Croatia, the world champions from 2010 in five, France in lane number six. Croatia versus Poland with Great Britain in amongst it and all the mix there. Great Britain up in two. That's your marker you're looking for. New man in the boat there. Tom Salisbury has uh, fought his way into the bow seat there, replacing Cousins, and he's uh, he's brought in uh, some real power into the boat there. And um, and it's uh, it's he's got a lot of experience, but in sweet rowing. It's only really his first year, his first uh, uh, year sculling, and um, he's been doing very, very well in that. So he's brought a different sort of lineup, a different way of, uh, of racing this. Sam Townsend has moved to the stroke seat, replacing uh, Steve Robotham, who's moved back to two. So they're sitting there, not not in bad in bad shape. They're sitting there in the pack in this leading group. Always in the uh, middle of the Croatian Sinkov and Martin, the Croatian quadruple skull. Big, powerful, undefeated throughout 2010 in the World Cup series. 500 down, now got 1,500 to go. Great Britain poised in the second position, but uh, it'll all just shake up now in the second 500 meters. Croatia moving, and likewise Germany in lane number three, and Poland just struggling a little bit on the uh, fast pace up there in lane number one. Mark Banks has come in to uh, coach the quadruple skull. He coached the four heavyweight four last year for Great Britain. It's been a change of coaches, not just about changing personnel in the crews, it's all about finding the right people to coach the right boats. Banks now in control and in charge of Great Britain's quadruple skull for the 2011 World Cup Series. Very well disciplined, Croatia. Just look how well together they are to the, uh, pick up the stroke. Such impulse as they take the, uh, take the blades, take the water. There's a real power through there. They're very quick through. They're just watching Germany because Germany certainly are giving them a lot of pressure there on the uh, in, in, in lane three. Great Britain have really been um, it's Sam Townsend in the stroke seat. Uh, Bill Lucas, Stephen Robotham, and uh, Tom Salisbury in the bow seat. For, for the quad, it's really been a story of getting them up on into a World Championship final. There have been a number of stops and starts. They've been very good in World Cups over the last couple of years, but for one reason or another, haven't performed at the World Championships. 2009, they had to withdraw for injury, and they were fifth at the World Championship final last year. So for the British crew, it's all about putting it together as we step towards London next year, the Olympics. Into the third 500, second part of this race, men's quadruple skulls, heavyweight final. Croatia leading as they have done really right from their first stroke. Croatia in lane number five are the defending world champions. Germany in lane number three on home water, fourth. Those world championships, Great Britain were fifth. Poland defending Olympic champions, really not living with this speed right now. Well, Ukraine were the fastest uh, qualifying and they've uh, slipped right out of the picture. Uh, Croatia must have just been biding their time a little bit. Uh, but Germany, the surprise here. Germany really up there with them. So right now it just looks like a bit of cat and mouse between Croatia closest to us and Germany in lane number three. Really are matching the strokes slightly ahead. Croatia, Germany now know that they've just got one big push to take Croatia out. We'll see that into the last 500 meters. Germany are staying a bit steadier. Germany at 34 strokes a minute and Croatia at 35 and a half strokes a minute. So this, the Croatians are under, under a lot of pressure. It's the last quarter of this final of the men's quadruple skulls and it's between Croatia and Germany. Croatia have been really hauled back in that third 500 meters by the home crew. Germany now really going to have to start thinking about lifting it up 
up there in lane number two on the left of your picture. Great Britain, Sam Townsend, Bill Lucas, Stephen Robotham, and Tom Salisbury, coached by Mark Banks, really dropped off in the first thousand, fighting for the bronze medal. Outside them, Poland, the world and Olympic champions, world champions from 2009, the Olympic champions from 2008. But right now, the form really is Germany, and Germany just squeezing through the world champions, Croatia. Germany have moved up there, moved up about two, two strokes a minute. They've gone right past uh, uh, Croatia, looking very strong. And Great Britain, great performance for Great Britain in this field, because this is a top-class field. But great Britain coming through now into third place, uh, putting, putting the Olympic champions, Poland, behind them. They are doing a fantastic job in this last part of this, uh, of this race. If they can get a bronze medal here, that's the best performance that a British squad has done in 30 years. So they're racing for bronze. Ukraine in lane number four attacking the hard, attacking Great Britain hard and for the line. Out front, though, on home water. Germany, time to perfection, executed perfectly up to the line in the gold medal position. Germany, and look at this lane race now for the uh, silver medal. Croatia and Germany, and then uh, Great Britain. Wow. Well, just get uh, full confirmation of those lines. Germany, though, get the uh, gold medal. With Croatia getting the silver, and then we're just going to wait for full confirmation of the bronze between Ukraine and Great Britain. I think Ukraine just sneaked it. I think Ukraine came up from uh, from well back. But that was a very well-judged race from Germany. They really did put it together well. They were very steady compared to Croatia. And when they had to move in the last 500 metres, they were able to do it extremely effectively.